the Republicans watched Bush win by taking the pledge and lose when he broke the pledge, people realized that the power, what the power of the pledge was. And what the pledge does is it allows an elected official to credibly commit that he or she will not raise your taxes. Politicians going back several thousand years have been lying to people. I, if you let me take over your province from the other emperor, I won't raise your taxes, he lied. Or uh, Senator Warner, when he was running for governor, promised he wouldn't raise taxes, except he lied. As soon as he got in, he screwed the people of Virginia with a very big tax increase. But interestingly, Warner wouldn't sign the pledge. He always planned to lie to the people of Virginia. He always planned to raise their taxes. It didn't bother him. He didn't even flinch when he said it, but he wouldn't sign it. Somehow asking people to sign it makes a difference. It slows them down. But the other piece to that is the credibility really was greatly increased when Bush took it, broke it, and lost. Because the American voters look and say, you know, this congressman, this senator, says he won't raise my taxes. And he's put it in writing. And the last guy who did that and broke his pledge threw away a perfectly good administration, perfectly good presidency. I think that this senator or congressman or fellow who's running for Congress or Senate would not take the pledge unless he meant to keep it. And so what the pledge does, because it's simple, because it's one sentence, it allows you to credibly commit not to raise taxes.